Okay, so different types of leaves how we paint um, with single brush and uh, using one stroke as well. So different types of uh, leaves, I'll show you how to do this. I'm just using one brush and to say, just to give a difference, I'm just uh, using four colors here. So there you go, let's start. And that's it, I'll uh, directly show you how we do that. Facing, these are acrylics here and I'm using a single brush, just take any brush you want. Um, if you are going to paint leaves, you might be needing something uh, with a flat tip like this. This this will be really helpful in uh, giving some nice texture uh, to your leaves and definition particularly. Okay, so loading your brush, you just have to, I'm just doing this on a paper. But if you really want to try this out, uh, try on some kind of wood or canvas. Um, if you think canvas is really, you no, know, for trial basis, canvas is really too much, I understand. So why don't you put some uh, cling film on that? Uh, that? That is how I practice. Or take something like this plastic one or take your plates, uh, disposable plates kind of thing. So that it won't be really, you know, too much for you. I just took two sides, green and brown, and keep scrubbing like this. Don't be confused in uh, loading your brush with paint. I know painting is a bit, uh, it's not really easy. It is like a bit of a costly job. So you might want to take some more paint and start. Let's start, uh, let's first do some branches. There are some five types of things first. So there you go. Okay. And then one more here. I'm just loading my brush just because it is paper. This is a paper and it is taking loads of paint. So don't worry, just give it some random strokes like this. And for the bigger leaves, I'll just give one large here okay now I'm loading my brush again just like I showed you previously more paint more paint and then front and back front and back front and back and if you feel your brush is nicely loaded just that much at one point of time your brush will be completely loaded with uh, with paint I'll show you what you can do without just washing it off okay so now Take one end, whichever end you wanted to have your, like this. Just lift, press, lift, press, lift. Just like this. Press, lift, lift. lift. Usually it's like the new ones coming. Load your brush. If you think it is done, the paint is done, then just like this. Isn't it simple? Then I'm loading with more paint. You can do it both ways, okay? So if you want brown down, then this is. See, if, if, I, if I don't want it to be uh, in a multi I don't want to show it like this, on one side brown, one side green, then what I do, I hold my brush like If I want it to show, I'll hold it like this. If I don't want to show, what I do, I press brown down and then lift. Or I press green down and then I lift. If you want more paint to come out, you press more. If you don't want more paint to be out, you do it, you do it you know, in a very slight way. And then just like this. There's no right or wrong in painting. It is just that go with the flow. Don't stop and wait uh, for it to look good or anything like that. There's nothing good or bad. This is another one. See? The bulk ones where uh, you can give it 
on flowers if you paint some white flowers around this leaves just on this bunch it will look really good rather than having a pointing ones for the white flowers uh, this kind of rounded tips will be really good now my paint my brush is completely full so what you do i take the same paint I, i'm just still doing this uh, front and back thing here i'm taking a different color just again to show that's it okay and now i'll show you this okay it's just like close the leaves they are like very close they don't come out real well like this closer ones there there is another one as well like um i'll show you on this one itself like this see this this kind of strokes we give it usually to the ground for the ground stuff when we painting some thick grass on the ground like thicker ones we paint like this from the top to the bottom if you want something evenly But if you don't want something in the even way, then you do it like this, from the bottom to the top. So that, see, it's a kind of long shot. This is even and this is very uneven. That is how we do that. And now comes the thicker ways. Mm, this again. my brush if my brush is like nicely loaded from two colors where i can differentiate then i can get two colors like this i'll i'll come back to this big one later mm. like this i'm loading my brush again and then pull press lift pull press lift press lift you can do this as long as you want like if you want some really long ones then it will be like like this If you want some twisted ones, like this, so that it'll 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 show off as if it is twisted, like this. Okay, now let's come back to our bigger ones. Here's the deal: mm, one stroke, just usually they say to mark, but there's no such rule. Start from here. and start then end draw your vein and this is a closed one it's like there's an open one there's a closed one the difference is like i'll give you a difference i'll give you more definition with an yellow touch so that you can clearly see that there you go this and then when the green is touched here it's a closed one 
like this. Okay. Then comes a bushy one. Bushy one will be just like this. she wants you know the now my brush is almost you know with a single color it's like it's like mixed up all, all the color is mixed up now what I do in the same one now I can see the brown and green here brown and green brown and green I don't want to show it up like this now so I just like this once we do like this it's a multi press keep your brush pointed like this always don't let it uh, much and then paint because you lose this strength in it when see when, when there are so many bristles coming up it won't be good so press it make it a single panel and then come back push and push there you go it's like this okay The next one is like really good and simple. The larger ones, the larger ones we talked about. It's that simple. This. Again, once more let, let us do. Again. Sharp. Close it. Just like this. Okay. So we learned almost all here. The bushy ones. Oh, I think I left this. Yeah. So oh, we did this. We want to have thick and close leaves then this is the one like this hope you like this and try this out and let me know if you need anything else yeah check out my other flowers as well i'm trying on different flowers to show that it will be easier for you to paint cheers bye